All right, here we are at Bundy Hill in Jerome, Michigan. It's hard go, to tell what's passenger. going on here, but there you this go. is Just actually keep straight like that. Uh, a two-track bridge over another trail. Drivers. Uh, you know, kind of fun to, to drive over, but uh, the video's not really showing what's, what's happening. Yeah, so this obstacle right here is called uh, Full Tilt. A um, little bit of a rock garden with some fairly large rocks. Always uh, fun to uh, crawl over. I don't know. I think, oh no, it's gonna climb over, you're good. So this day it worked out pretty good. Not only was Kenzie videoing like she normally does, and then I try to video when I'm out of my truck. Uh, my buddy Eric came along with us for the day, so we were able to get um, a couple different uh, video angles of the stuff we did throughout the day. So it makes it nice to be able to see, you know, what what's going on in front of the truck and what's going on behind the truck gives it just a little bit better of a uh, point of view. You're on the rear diff. You're just slowly sliding over it. <laughs> you're at the very edge of it. I can't tell if you're hung up on something else. I just know your passenger rear is not touching. So if you really like uh, hill climbs, uh, Bundy Hill has a lot of them. Um, there's one feature in the park called Devil's Hole. Um, it's a huge, huge hole that was mined. And all around the perimeter, um, there's various hill climbs. Um, and uh, there was a couple new ones this time that haven't been there in the past. And uh, they were 
were definitely steeper and had a little bit more of like a S turn as you're going up. So really fun. Unfortunately, uh, midway up, um, the camera stopped for a quick second. Well, that was a fail. Alright, so this area of the park is called the Coliseum. It's like a uh, playground area. Where I'm at here, um, it's like the side of a hill. And they have like four various types of... Uh, cement, rock, um, climb obstacles built into the hill. So uh, this is one of them right here. This right here to me is kind of like uh, a simulated waterfall climb. Um, super cool, fun, uh, but yeah, the camera doesn't show in the video here really how steep this is. Um, my longer wheelbase definitely helped me out on this one for sure. Going off that edge. You need to come drivers. This right here kind of gives you an idea of how steep it looks, especially this clip right here. Um, like I said, you're climbing a hill, and then on the hill is these obstacles, so it, uh, you're definitely looking up at the sky. <laughs> So this right here is a really cool, um, long rock and cement climb. Um, kind of goes up and and uh, turns uh, left on its way up here. My wheelbase and width um, were a little bit of a challenge on this one. They made this obstacle Again, it's super long and it's awesome, but it's very, the obstacle itself is very narrow. And you'll see right here, I mean, it doesn't take me much to have a tire fall off one side or the other. So if this would be like, I don't know, another two, two and a half foot wider overall, it would be, uh, it would have been a lot better. But I'm basically on edge to edge here. With, uh, with my truck. Now Brad and Kenzie's truck, um, <laughs> Brad made this look super easy. So make sure you check out their video.
this outro right here is found out in the middle of the woods. There's multiple trails that are out here called Mild to Wild. And then I believe there's some called like uh, deer, deer Run or something. We've passed this multiple times in years past. Um, but it just, it's always looked so gnarly and like overgrown. So this time we figured we would give it a, uh, a shot. So we did. So I don't know how big these tubes are, but you can see they're, they're fairly large. Um, I spotted Brad over this first and Brad did an awesome job and basically conquered it, you know, one shot. I was like, oh, okay, I'll do it, no big deal. Well, <laughs> as soon as I get on it, all the all the tubes are rolling and moving and um, basically just leaving my tires not hang but take the weight off so I'm not getting any traction. And then I was bound up on the rear dip, front diff, um, a front control arm bracket, etc. So I'm saving you guys about 10 minutes or so of footage. I uh, got hung up here the first time so I had Brad winch me back. Picked a new line and uh, tried it again. Got a little bit farther. Alright, let me know what you want me to do. Suck it in, man. Suck it in. Show me what full drivers looks like. Okay, that ain't gonna work. If you were back just a little bit more hard passenger, I think we could get you back up on the pipe hard driver. But pa What's that? Winch out, Brad. That is working. Stay hard driver. Do you want to take the winch off at this point before going forward or just have Brad let it out? Because I can get you up and out of here from this point forward. What do you think? What did you say? Yeah, you can go forward, yeah. Just stay exactly like that right now. You're gonna climb right up. Yeah. So keep your wheels just like that. Turn into a passenger. Yep, stay hard passenger. Drivers is about to climb. Stay just like that. Keep it hard passenger. You're sitting on your diff up front, but I'm not sure if you can just roll through it. 
and it looks like you might be about to either A, hit the rear diff, or you might go up over it because your rear passenger is climbing. The drive shafts are good. The drive shafts are good. Drive shafts are good, right? Yeah. Okay, it's the front diff that's holding you up. Well, I thought uh, that next line I was taking there was going to get me out, but as you can see, the uh, front diff was dipped out and uh, wasn't able to pull with the front tires at all. So I had to put a cable on it for the second time on this obstacle, but uh, hey, it was still uh, still a good time.